Hey Capricorn, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, this is going to be your June reading, and I hope May was, Gemini season was good to you, but the, I'm sure a lot of things might not have gone your way, or things just seem to be off. It is um, retrograde season, so there's a lot of things that just didn't, didn't link up, right? Preparing us for June that's coming. Eclipse season. Lunar eclipse. So that's the sun. It's going to go into an eclipse on the 5th. You should check that out. And then there's a solar eclipse on June 21st. That's my birthday, Capricorn. Just so you know. And Mercury goes retrograde on the 18th. Then we cancer season. So we're all going to be up in our feels. Hopefully we can all go and do what we want to do. So we can feel what we want to feel. And no one can tell us how to feel anymore. And tell us what to feel and how to feel it and where to feel it. Like, I'm so sick of that. Like, like, let me be me outside of my house, please. And Venus. Venus is also in retrograde still. Jupiter and Pluto are still in retrograde. And then Mars, which rules communication, is in Aries. So think of like your Aries friends and how they communicate, Capricorn. And then so it'll be, the communication will be like that. Like very stern, very cold, very sharp, very, very I'm the boss. That's the kind of energy that, that's, that June is giving. <clears throat> right, so I'm going to do three mini reads. No, four mini read, four mini readings within this reading. So one of them might resonate with you. All of them might resonate with you. Uh, a little bit of life, love, career. And then overall, I'll pull from the moon deck. Yeah, so let's do love first. Let's see, Venus. Venus is Venus is still retrograde, so Venus rules relationships and marriage. So relationships might not be going well because Venus is in retrograde. It's, it's the furthest away from us. It's, it's rotating around the planets, so technically we can't see it. And then when it no, when it's stationed, which it'll go stationed on the twenty on June twenty fifth, that means it's the furthest away from us, where we can't see it because it's, it's it's orbiting. So that's what retrograde means, like orbit. So love. So this is going to be you, them. I'm going to pull three cards. You, them, and where you're headed. It can be someone you're talking to, someone you're with. If you're in a relationship, maybe someone you want to be with, someone that might be coming into your life. It doesn't necessarily have to be right now. It can be for the month of June. Okay? So let's pull a you card for... Six of Swords. You're in a calm place. Capricorn. Them. They could be a Gemini. They want a relationship. Where are you headed? Empress. You're on a journey. You're in a calm place. You're all by yourself. You're like, like in a calm. You you went to a calm place. You're in calm waters. You're like chilling. You're like I'm good. Like I don't need anybody. I'm chilling. I'm hanging out. I'm by myself. You wrote you rode away to a calmer place last season, and now in June you will be in this energy of like I'm I'm in a calm, I'm in a good place. I'm in a great place. Them. They are... They could be a Gemini, like this person, but whoever this is that's coming into your life, like this could be... They could be a Gemini. If not, they are about partnership. They are They are about, about duality. They are about a relationship. That's what they bring to the table. Where you're headed. Bougie. Bougie, bougie, y'all bougie. You're headed to a very sophisticated level type of relationship, Capricorn. You're headed to like bougie, luxury, 
high level empress don't fuck with the empress you don't fuck with this relationship so that's where you're headed you're headed in that and it is a journey cancer card chariot so you have gemini and you have cancer here <clears throat> where you're headed you're headed in a relationship you're headed you're on a journey in a journey together you're doing this together it's cute Could be new, page of wands. Could be a new relationship. Could be a new person. That's what I'm getting. It's going to be serious. It's going to be a serious relationship. Yeah. What I get with this is a serious relationship. New, bougie, luxury, high class. This is partnership as it is, but it could be a Gemini. You're on a journey and you are cruising. You chilling, you good. You rode away to calm waters. You left the hectic hecticness and you left all the drama. It's gone. Next. <clears throat> Life message. It's going to be three questions again that I have. And we'll see how this resonates with you. What you aspire to do, what's standing in your way, and how to over overcome this. What you aspire to do. Capricorn. Whew. Queen of Swords. You aspire to be serious, to be taken serious. You aspire to know everything. You aspire to be a little bit on the bitchy side. You want to be a little bit feisty. You want to be the boss. You want to be a queen. You want to be a well communicator. You want to be sharp. You want to be sharp. What's standing in your way? Success standing in your way? Maybe the attention is standing in your way. Too much attention. You don't like too much attention or you need more attention. The attention is standing in your way. Maybe you need too much attention or maybe you are. You need a lot of attention and that's, what's, that's the issue in your life message, right? You want to be sharp. You want to be the boss. You want to be. Just, just don't be too too much. Don't be like you know with a knife at my throat. Like what you doing, nigga? Like you know, or like you your life. Like your life. You want to be sharp in life. You want to be. You want to be set like the Queen of Swords. Maybe there's too much attention there. What's standing in your way? This is this this is a parade. This is a party. This is attention. Standing in your way is too much attention. How to overcome this? Plan for the long term. Put your plans in place for the long term, not now. Don't think about now. Think about think about the future. Think about what you're doing now that's going to that's going to affect you in the future. Whatever plans you're doing now, is it gonna help you for your future? Is it going to help you planting your seeds for the long term? If you answered no and it's only helping you now, then maybe you should reevaluate that. Awakening judgment card. You're going to have an awakening moment or you are having one um, or you need to wake the fuck up because if it does not align in how to overcome this, how to overcome the attention is plan for the long term. Stop planning for the short term and wake up and realize that that you're living in the now. And I don't want to say you're planning for the future, but this is the message here. Like, Think about your future. That's the message. Think about your future. Maybe you weren't thinking about your future. You were thinking about now. Now it's saying think about the future a little bit more. Let's do some career. So career is going to be three, three questions again. Maybe it'll resonate. What will help you, what will hinder you, and what your untapped potential is. What will help you? Leaving a situation. Five of Pentacles. Leaving something, leaving a job, maybe leaving, leaving an industry. What will hinder you? Ooh, success will hinder you? No, let's see. We don't want to look into that. What your untapped potential is. Oh. I'm 
emotions. Your untapped potential is you can tap into your emotions. You need to leave a situation. A situation that maybe you're the boss in. Maybe you're yeah, maybe you're a boss or you you have a lot of attention. Didn't we just talk about this? You have a lot of attention and you are you're you're financially set and you being stable by yourself is gonna hinder you. So there's a situation that you need to leave. Your status is gonna get in the way. Maybe your attitude, or maybe your cockiness or your single self, like you need to tap into your emotions, Queen of Cups, so that you can, that's your untapped potential. So you haven't even tapped into your emotions yet. Tap into the emotions, but don't be too like, oh, I'm needy. Yeah, I'm not gonna be needy, but there's a situation that needs to go, needs to end. This is also a poverty card. What will help you, leaving this, what will help you or your money can help you but this means you're losing money it's weird because this is losing money and this is like being set maybe if you're not if you're not set you need to get set rest four of swords rest rest and recover Rest so that you can understand this better. Take some much needed time to chillax. Let something go from my hype man deck. Let that shit go. And oh wow, sis. So there's a situation that you need to leave. Maybe it's a situation that you need to leave so that you can be like, oh wow, sis, you got it all. You need to tap into your emotions. Take some time off. Take some much needed rest. Relax. Take it take a step back. Yeah, because what will hinder you is is this is like a boss car. So being a boss might hinder you. You might it might be too stressful for you. It might it might be too much. You're gonna it's gonna overexert you. You're gonna be too nasty. You're gonna be too you're not gonna be who you are. That's some energies for June. Let's pull a moonology card for Capricorn for June. Capricorn. Step outside of your comfort zone, Capricorn. Pull one more. A time for healing. So step outside of your comfort zone in the month of June. Time for healing. Leave a situation that might not be going well. I would if I were you. We got that as well. I saw that there. And Hopefully things will go in a better direction. Magic works through you. Trust yourself, fetal spirit. Magic works through you. Number 52, if that resonates with you. Five plus two, seven, if that resonates with you. And the lucky number seven. Magic works through you. So like you could be the touch, you could be the light that walks into a room, you can be the everything. You just gotta trust yourself. Capricorn, I hope this message resonates with you and I look forward to doing more readings with you in the month of June.